Pacific Ocean where Faith, Hope, Destiny, and Angel. <laughs> what do you think, guys? It's okay, boys. You guys got all spooked, but it's okay. Just a little doggy. Just a little doggy. No, no, guys, don't, no fighting. No fighting, Hoppy. The dog is leaving. It's okay. It's okay. The dog is leaving. Just relax. Relax, everybody. Relax. Guys, Hoppy, stop feeding your breath. No. Look. She, she, she's, um, she'll fly from like across the street to right over here, uh -huh. and that's about it. Uh -huh. Hi. And Rosita. Hi. And Rosita is the mother of this one here. This is George, a girl. Oh, a girl of low green ring. And this is Killian, and Killian and George are the two that you see fly all the time. Oh, those two? And then, this is Killian, uh, has all the alphabets. And then in the corner here is Ruby back there, oh. and her husband Ben, and he used to be all beautiful, and she scalped him <gasps> before that when they were made dating, and because she has um, not that one, right? Yeah, she she scalped oh, she, him. She, she pulled scalped. all of his feathers out. He'll never. <laughs> he's only gonna look like this. He's never gonna look better. Oh, and um, poor thing. they have the thing called mis misplaced aggression, uh -huh. and so she couldn't fight with the other bird, so she took it out on him. Aww. But he loves her. Like it. passive aggressive. Yeah, passive aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> and she's half scarlet and half military. Oh wow. So she's called a shamrock. She's a shamrock. Harlequins. This is a, I call her a Ruby Rosa because she's has a little uh, military in her, which uh -huh. makes her more than a ruby. Uh -huh. And uh, do you know who Perfurio Ruberosa was? No. That was way before your time. You'll have to look it up. So look it up on the he, he was a playboy, uh, a diplomat uh -huh. from the Dominican Republic back in the 30s. And, oh. and he was a playboy. And he married the three richest women in the world. Really? He got the money, divorced them, got them married. And they wanted what he had. And it, anyway, so it's, it's a lot. Anyway, so she's a Ruby Rosa. So and he's a green one and a scarlet. And then Ruby in the corner. She is half green wing and half scarlet. Mm -hmm. So she has very light uh, lines on her face. Yeah. And her coloring is a little bit like some weird colors on her tail. But they are gorgeous. You guys are gorgeous. Hello, guys. Hello. Look at you guys. You guys are gorgeous. And we're driving right now to another location where is another 10 macaws? Uh, 11. 11 macaws. Four, four hyacinths. Four hyacinths. Five green wings, one blue and gold, and one hybrid across between a hyacinth and a green wing. Wow. So total 20 macaws. Uh, 11 and my seven. So 18. 18 macaws. We focus on 10. Okay. Um, and two are three flight trained. Yeah. Well, actually, um, Tabasco will fly uh, across the street to the house, but she doesn't have a lot of stamina. So she's kind of like in kindergarten. Okay. And um, I've never used a, uh, I saw that. Yeah. I never use a harness. And so if a bird goes missing, I find the tree that they're in and then I get them out of the tree. And that takes a lot of work. Yeah. So I have other birds that could fly, but then I'd have to go and get them. 
they just have to be happy with their lot in life. I had one bird from, my bird um, was here, and he and his uh, girlfriend, Pinky, I call her Pinky, um, they climbed out onto the door on the, on the outside of the cage, and he took off, and now he had flown many, many times, but he would never come back to my house. So my birds fly um. through the red light. They fly up here. Oh. There's a little hill right over here called Terrace Hill. They fly oh. behind that uh -huh. and go out over town uh, on the south south end of town. Oh. So when you let them fly, they just fly. You don't call them back. No, like... I, I don't call them back. They come back whenever. Yeah. They yeah. And I, I took them up here one time to show uh, the people in this. It's a um, it's like a halfway house if you come out of the hospital before you go home. And uh, a friend of mine was there. And so, up there where that Spanish style building is. Uh -huh. And I let them go after I showed everybody, and they wanted me to show everybody. So I showed everybody. I brought them out. They went up in a big eucalyptus tree. Oh, wow. And they, they thought that I went this way. The birds. And so they took off and went that way for, you know, like a mile. Oh, no. And they couldn't find me, and I came back with another car. I had left, and I, I came back with another car, and then they, uh, they came down. They were up in the air for about an hour. Oh, they were looking they were, for you for an hour? They were really upset because I lost them. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to lose you. So do your, your birds fly with like other birds, like wild birds? birds like hawks yeah i've seen them fly with uh, red tail hawks a pair so it's like my two birds and the two hawks fly side by side and then uh, like last year uh, i thought it was a turkey vulture but it turned out it was a golden eagle what and they escorted the eagle from downtown san luis over to the side of the mountain and they were gone for about 10 minutes and they came back and it was like no big deal what so two your two macaws escort a golden eagle they, to another city in well, the they, air they, they walked them from downtown to over there to that mountain yeah. <laughs> so they're not afraid of anything they don't bother any other birds and uh, that's crazy yeah. usually like golden eagle can fly 200 miles per hour and they are kind of like predators well, they eat I macaws know, i don't know if they can fly no they, they're, they eat squirrels and rabbits and things like that they don't eat macaws no 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 the only, you know, there's, uh, if there was like something on the ground, like a bobcat or something, they might try, but you know, the, you have to take chances, you know, they're, they have a good life. You'll see in a minute here when we, when we fly. And what about, uh, bald eagles? Did you ever? No, they eat fish. They eat fish? Yeah. Bald eagles. So there's my house right there. There's the tree and, um. That's where we that's where we're gonna fly from. <laughs> 